y'all so y'all know i'm still taking the pre-gym the same flavor we're still working with the rainbow sherbet pre-workout i don't like a little bit of water y'all you can mix as much water as you like but i try to get it down real quick like a shot pretty much and it's starting to get real crumbly because we're down to like the last little bit y'all we almost gonna finish off this whole container so it's time to make it back to gnc and get some more so but it still dissolves just the same so this is for that energy you know that superhero cape get me through my workout let me maximize my workout and then I use um, a scoop of the Micronized Creatine. This is for muscle recovery. This is help to prevent soreness, helps your muscles to recover. This is a must. A lot of people talk about how, especially people who are just starting their workout journeys, how they're super tired the next day, how they're super sore. Um, and this helps with that. This helps to minimize this. Um, so as far as like being sore the next day, as far as being tired towards your workout, regardless if you're just doing a lot of cardio, if you're lifting heavy, right into the pre-workout. And we're gonna mix it like a cocktail. All right, y'all. So I like to try to do this in like one gulp without breathing, just chugging it down. It ain't nasty, but it ain't the best either. Get all that, the bubbles too. Also, y'all, I like to add a little bit of crystal light to my water because, I don't know, sometimes you just, you know, want a little flavor. The kind that I put in mine is peach mango green tea. I don't put this whole pack in there. I just do a little bit, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle, just enough to get my water, just a little bit of flavor. Okay, y'all, so before getting into my workout for today, I'm going to start off by stretching. These are called leg swings. They help to increase the joint range of motion in your hips. They also help to increase flexibility and agility. They help to stretch out the calf, quadriceps, hamstrings, and the groin muscles. Scratching before a workout is a definite must. It helps to increase blood flow, promote flexibility. It helps to maximize your workout and prevent injuries. Y'all see that barbell pad, so you already know what time it is. We are starting off today's workout with hip thrusts. That's right, today is all about the booty, y'all. Instead of four sets of eight to 10, we're doing three sets of eight to 10 because I forgot that my gym is on holiday hours, so they're only open for a few hours a day. And I wanna make sure I have time at the end of my workout to get in sufficient cardio. I like to start my glute days off with hip thrusts. It's one of my most favorite exercises for many, many reasons. They specifically target the gluteus maximus, which is the large. Begin by sitting on the ground with your upper back against the bench, feet flat on the floor and knees bent. Place a padded barbell across your hips. Ensure your feet are hip width apart, toes pointing forward. Engage your core muscles to help stabilize and protect your spine from injury. Press through your heels, lifting your hips towards the ceiling until your thighs are parallel to the ground. Focus on squeezing your glutes. Avoid arching your back excessively. Lower your hips back down towards the floor, ensuring a controlled motion. Besides increasing strength and power in the glutes and hips, they also help to improve athletic performance and improve your posture. If you're looking to grow your booty, hip thrust is one of the best glute exercises you can do.
If you're a beginner and you're new to hip thrust, I would recommend starting off at about 84 pounds and increasing gradually. Aim uh, to complete three to four sets of eight to 12 repetitions. Be sure to allow for adequate rest in between <laughs> sets um, and to recover, make sure you hydrate and maintain proper form. Remember to prioritize form over heavy weights to reduce the risk of injury and ensure effective muscle engagement. Next up on the list, Romanian deadlifts. They not only target your glutes and hamstrings, but they also work the muscles of your lower back, quadriceps, traps, and forearms. Be sure to poke out your booty and keep the bar as close to your legs as possible. Keep your back straight and chest out. Again, y'all, today we're only doing three sets of 10. Normally I do four sets of eight to 10, um, but not today because I'm trying to get my, you know, to get the complete workout in. Um, but this can be done about two, three times per week. On this first set, y'all, I think I zoned out. I think I did too many. I think I actually did about 14. Um, they got the heat blasting in here today, y'all. It is so hot. Like usually I don't sweat this much during the workout, but I'm like really sweating today. What's next on the list, y'all? More deadlifts. If you haven't figured this out yet, I'm a big, big fan of deadlifts. We have a love-hate relationship. Deadlifting offers a multitude of benefits for your body, ranging from total body muscle development and improved posture to fat loss and enhanced athletic performance. I told you guys today, you know, that the gym closes early and all that, so I had to omit one exercise off my list. Otherwise, I would not be able to get cardio in, so I eliminated box squats for today. Why I picked another type of deadlift over the box squats is because I mean squats are great um, I you know I love them as well but since we're focusing on the glutes and if I had to pick between the two I feel that the deadlifts are more um, goal oriented for today I feel that the deadlifts um, give more of a benefit for what we're working on today because if you're looking for more gains for the back of your legs deadlifts are definitely you know the route that you want to go versus squats squats are very beneficial um but for what we're going for today our goal today as far as working out deadlifts is where is it which is why i'm doing all of these deadlifts um and omitting the box Next on the list, the single leg kneeling hamstring curl. This is great for working your glutes as well as your hamstrings while also uh, helping to engage your core. Performing one leg at a time, I love machines like this because it helps to ensure muscular balance on both sides of the body.
so since i was not gonna get squats in today i decided to do the hack squat machine however it is down so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the single leg um extensions and i'm gonna get my three sets of this in and then i'm going to go ahead and make my way over to the um seated bike so i can get cardio in because right now i have about 40 minutes and i need to start wrapping it up okay y'all so my workout is completed I'm about to stop by the commissary on the way home um, to pick up some thinly sliced chicken breast for my post-workout meal. And also while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and get some sides and get a jump start on dinner. Um, I got some chicken thighs that have defrosting. So I'm gonna get some rice and some green beans for the sides. And I'm also gonna pick up some of this delicious sugar-free juice. I'm not a big juice person, but in the mornings I do like juice. Um, and this is a really good option. It's sugar-free. It is just as delicious as um, like the regular juices with all our sugar. I found these about two months ago and I have been buying them consistently ever since. My kids even love them. I mentioned earlier about the fasted workouts and why I do them. I do fasted workouts, like I'm gonna say it's like 80% of the time. I think that I see like the biggest results when I do fasted workouts. I feel like I have more energy. I feel like I don't get as tired as quick in my workouts um, because a lot of people go to the gym, they work out, and they leave but after my workout i go do cardio so i do like like 20 25 minutes of cardio so on those days where i eat like a good bit before i go to the gym because i wake up i'm hungry i want some eggs i want some this um on those days that i eat it seems like i don't have the energy for cardio after the fact i mean that's just me so the benefit of faster workouts is, is that it increases lipolysis. Lipolysis is the utilization of your fat. So pretty much it's like, it increases the fat that you burn during a workout. And you sprinkle a little bit of cardio on top of that. And that's, I feel like that's my recipe for a really good workout. Weights, cardio, fasting before I work out. Now, the fact that the kids have been out for winter break like this morning, I was a little bit hungry before I went to the gym, but not enough to where I feel like I needed to eat something um, because I've been sleeping in. So normally when I, have, when I get the kids up for school, I get them on the bus, I go ahead and hit the gym. Try to head to the gym by like, you know, eight, nine o'clock. But since I've been sleeping in late, I've been, you know, I've been getting to the gym later. So this morning I was a little bit hungry, but I had coffee and then I took my pre-workout like an hour after that because it's good to wait at least like 60 minutes between coffee and pre-workout um and then went to gym and i'm good but i'm hungry right now am i ready to eat <laughs> yes i'm getting ready to make my salad and i'm going to take my supplements and we're going i'm going to briefly like explain to you guys like the supplements that i take and why um but i'm going to put like the major description down in the video the, the, the description of the supplements and why I take them down in the description of this video because I'm ready to make this salad because I'm hungry. I'm hungry, all your girls hungry.
right y'all so these are all the supplements that i take right now um which i don't think that it's that many i'm always looking for new ones to add to the lineup but as of right now this is it the first one vitamin d vitamin d has been shown to promote um weight loss it also helps protect you know older adults i am 42 years old so i am trying to be proactive as far as my bones and my joints it helps to um, build and maintain healthy bones so there's a lot of benefits to vitamin d but those are the main reasons why i take them so next we have um broccoli cellophane this helps to this has been shown to um help detoxify your liver um, it helps with the clearance of estrogen by the liver. Um, it also helps to improve your life your lifespan and prevent age-related diseases. So a lot of benefits for the Broccoli Max. I get this from Sprouts and of course the Vitamin D. You can get just about anywhere. I get mine from Walmart, from Walgreens, from the PX. And then next we have um, Xanathan. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's how i say when i go into the store to get it so of course i get this one from gnc for a lot of benefits of the xanathan it helps to improve your immune system it can influence your immune system by helping to activate white blood cells which is a natural killer for diseases um it reduces inflammation it protects your skin from uv damage it supports cognitive health increases your bowel movements if anybody has an issue with that it also helps to uh, increase weight loss so it does a lot I take this for the anti-aging benefits as well as the promotion of weight loss. So I just went ahead and looked this one up um, on my phone. So ashwagandha helps to regulate your cycle by balancing reproductive hormones. Um, also, it um, may help to reduce the frequency and severity of high flashes um, and other menopause system, uh, symptoms. I am not experiencing that right now. But the main reason why I take it is because it might help calm the brain, reduce swelling, lower blood pressure. It can help alter and improve the immune system. Um, it can help issues related to stress, like as far as like with your brain and how your brain responds to stress. Ashwagandha has um, been associated with high levels of DHEA. DHEA is a hormone that promotes hair growth. Um, it increases collagen synthesis that improves the elasticity of the scalp and repairs any sun damage. Um, as a result, you get healthy and shiny hair. The, another one of my favorites in the lineup, I always make sure I keep this one. So something, you know, really good to take. If you're looking for something that's really good for your body, it does a lot. This is definitely one along with the um, azanathin, because I'm saying that right. So these are the ones that I'm taking right now. All right, y'all, so that's it for today's vlog. That's it for Wellness Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that button below. Leave your girl a comment and a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.